Hi everybody, this is Christy from the Be The Light YouTube channel. I thank you so much for stopping by and as always, I send you love. This is just going to be a quick um, video about um, what you may be experiencing as we are dealing with these eclipse um, energies um, and June energies. Um, probably a lot of emotional imbalances will come uh, and kind of come on suddenly where you're feeling this sense of anger or fear whatever that emotion is that has usually controlled you most of your life um, one that you have a hard time letting go of from time to time that's probably going to be the one that's going to resurface um, it doesn't matter, probably like agitation, I guess. It's going to come in the form of being agitated. Um, and then also a huge disconnection. Um, and I'm going to try to give you an example. Like um, all of a sudden yesterday, I was hit with this wall. I went from feeling completely awesome in alignment to almost out of myself I was not myself and it, it happened instantly I I wasn't mad I wasn't tired I just didn't feel present any longer I didn't I couldn't connect um, and communicate properly with people I didn't want to for one and I no longer wanted to be out and about I had errands to do I did um, one that I knew I had to get done and then I made myself come back home um, because I couldn't get that sense of um, again being present in my body my communication was off my mind of course as a result was feeling off and then when you don't feel connected mentally of course your emotions are going to kind of like go everywhere or has the ability to go everywhere um, and although I was still being polite and very loving to other people I can sense that I had to make myself do it not in the sense that I was going to be mean but in the sense that I knew I wasn't myself and something wasn't quite right so I came home and I got outside to do some gardening and that did help but I kept falling back and forth, flipping back and forth throughout that yesterday, actually. And uh, it happened again suddenly about dinner time, all over again. And then this time I did get a little ag aggravated. I was very agitated. And um, I felt mentally drained all of a sudden. Nobody did anything. Nothing took place. Nothing was bad. And um, and I knew I was integrating anyway. That's the point of this. I knew that I was integrating as a result of the messages that I had received the, um, that previous um, evening. Um, we are, as we integrate higher energies of light, or as we receive those higher energies of light, we have all of these symptoms. Um, a lot of us will be receiving or having the symptoms of um, headaches, sinus pressure, um, because we are integrating more energies, higher energies into our crown. Our crown is being affected. Our third eye is being affected. Our fourth eye is being affected. Um, and there's that connection of divine light that's taking place. And I'm not going to go through all the technical um, um, information here about it, or spiritual information about it um, so you'll have a sense of being foggy again throughout this time because it's very heavy it's you're feeling very heavy and we have to get rid of all of this density again it's still that purging process and you're probably feeling a lot of um, indigestion in some sort of way it, it might not be really intense but it's kind of there kind of just aggravating and sitting there um, perhaps even um, um, 
any type of digestion issue could be going on um, as a result of this purging process here in integration. Um, being very tired is quite possible, but then followed by tons of energy is possible as well. Um, and you're probably experiencing, if wherever you are in your journey, and this is not a symptom, this is about an upgrade um, that you could be seeing um, because it's still part of the, the ninth, eighth, ninth, and tenth level of light body activation, uh, where you can probably pick up on um, light codes in your peripheral vision, or when you instantly blink your eyes, you're probably picking up on some codes or some flashes of light or shadows of um, images uh, within your actual vision. Um, that is the integration here of this higher consciousness, again, of course, because we are taking in higher energies into the fifth dimension. And I hope I am making complete sense here because through my fogginess, um, it's hard for me to get my thought process correct and, and speak it correctly. Um, I am trying to just be present here without having to think too much. Um, and just make sure to have compassion for yourself. Drink plenty of water during the integration period. All the time, really. Do something that is going to be productive. You know, exercise, do some walking, get out in, outdoors. And um, if you like working in the garden, work in the garden. Um, something that's going to keep you kind of feeling energized. Um, even journaling is fine. Just don't, you know, don't fall for the fact that you are not feeling quite yourself and you think that there's something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. You are integrating at this time and it's important for you to see it as that. Give yourself that compassion. Do whatever it is necessary for you to do um, to allow it to be integrated. When we fall for that negative emotion or negative feeling or not being able to do our normal activities as a result of what's taking place um, and we beat ourselves up for it, it's going to be kind of hard for us to receive um, based on love. Um, even if you lash out at somebody, because yesterday I was a little off and yeah, I'm going to say I got a little irritated um, during a conversation and I you know I had to catch myself because I could have taken that conversation to a, a negative um, um, effect later on but I chose not to I I really saw what I was doing and that's why you have to be mindful still be mindful of what's going on with you um, and then still, even if you do react to how somebody else is, what, what they're you know, talking about or how you're feeling and, and whether or not they're being kind or not, you might lash out as a result of what you are feeling inside. It's okay. You have a chance to correct it or stay stuck in it. That's your choice. Um, choose to get out of it as quickly as you possibly can no matter if you're integrating or not the quicker that you can get out of the negative thought and emotion process the quicker that you purge it out that's learning a lesson and although when we are integrating we 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 aren't really we are, but we aren't learning a lesson when we are finally taking it in is because we have finally done that work that we are receiving that light and information. But again, when we stay stuck in it, that integration process lingers, which can be very heavy, very painful, depending on where you are, and take longer so the quicker that you can release negativity, 
the quicker your process can be completed. And that's why being mindful and always asking yourself, is this in alignment with who I want to be? Is this in the alignment who I know I am? Is this in alignment with love and light? If it's not, it's your choice to change it. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.